My name is Robert Jones. I was born in the city of Chicago, and I'm from the south side of Chicago. I was 10 years old the day of my accident. It was a good day. When I got to the building, I got distracted by an uh, older girl. She was a teenager. I was 10. She was 15. But I had a crush on her. I ended up going, walking past her and hitting her on her shoulder, realized that my, um, my shoe was untied, bent down to tie my shoe, and on my way back up from tying my shoe, I was struck in the head by a stray bullet. Four, four, three, four, four, four. My sight was uh, taken instant. I wanna let you know what I see in my dreams. Bet you didn't know I can see in my dreams. Whether it's at night time or during the day, these images keep me in a better place. I see peace and no war. I see something to live for. I'm riding a bike. There was a teacher that um, introduced me to music at, at Skinner uh, Elementary School. Her name was Miss Rice. She was, um, she was also blind. Um, and she gave free lessons to all the blind students. The first time she had me play a scale on the piano, I was overwhelmed by it, yeah, because I never heard a sound like that before. I started off with classical music. From classical, I went into jazz. From jazz, I went into R&B. And from R&B, I went into contemporary music uh, categories. The most difficult part about being blind to me would be I forget that I can't see. I believe in miracles. Hold on tight to this feeling, never let it go. Whatever it is, just I can travel the city, dial, text on my phone, or work a computer. I move around the city, you know, I, I know the city like the back of my hand, so when people see me out, um, the first question is, why are you out here? I do not see myself as a blind man, and I definitely don't want no one else to look at me that way, mainly because of I, I live a normal life. When I lost my sight, Pastor T.L. Barrett, he was, he was the first person to come by my side. You know, he had um, a daughter by the name of Cleo, who I really became friends with. Our first date was going to Miami. <laughs> when we got back from Miami, we decided that we were going to uh, get, go into a relationship. She had God in her and um, just, man, it was just perfect. <laughs> I mean, if you would say anything was perfect, she was perfect to me. I got a call from my pastor. And it was like, um, he was like, Robert, have you um, talked to Cleo? I was like, no. He was like, when was the last time you talked to her? I was like, well, the last time I talked to her was yesterday evening. So now I'm like, oh man, this, this is definitely something, something that's going on. So I end up getting a call and it's, it's my auntie. <laughs> um, she was like, they just found, they just found um, your pastor's daughter dead. And um, uh, If I was able to get my sight back for a split moment to see my daughter, I would take that. I was proud that my father was able to see my daughter. My mother was my everything. How could I go to the next level with this sound? Atlanta is the one place everyone seems to love my music, you know, genuinely love my music. She's I met a lot of different producers. Oh, at this point in time, Atlanta is like the new, what did I say, the southern Hollywood. Atlanta is the place that I need to be in order to get where I need to go. Walk the plank, 
Atlanta is, is, is the place that is calling me right now <laughs> and uh, I need to answer that call.